Okay, uh, so in this unit of tutorial, miscellaneous four, or point four, uh, we're going to be talking about switching between levels. So now we can start streaming our levels together. So, um, oops, that's a surprise. Ah, my surprise! Go away. Um, <laughs> you'll see it soon enough anyway. Uh, so here's our enemy. Great. Um, so what I want to talk about is our wind trigger, uh, which is back over here. Mine's invisible as a particle system. Um, I want to talk about, uh, instead of starting the level over, I want to talk about um, uh, going on to the next level. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our wind trigger. We're just going to make two small changes. Okay. So here's our wind trigger. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add one property. It's going to be an int. It's a number. We're going to call it level two load. So we're going to put which number we put here is going to be the level we're going to load. Now, um, in order to use this number, we need to actually use it in our code. So here in C manager load scene, when we choose which scene to load, instead of loading scene zero. We're going to choose level two load. Okay. Um, so, uh, and, and, and this is very similar to um, our lives script. Uh, that it's the same kind of setup, which means um, uh, we can now choose um, like which level gets loaded. You know, the start of the game or the, or the level you're working on. Uh, this you can choose to just loop one level, or we can. Um, move through a series of levels. So where we're going to get this number is going to be in our build settings. So we're going to go to File, Build Settings. That's going to open up um, this window here. And so every time you make a new scene, as if you click Add Open Scenes, it's going to add it to this list here of scenes in build. Now we can uncheck these and check them to um, make it so they don't get built into our game. But we, we need to manually add these scenes. Um, so as we add them, they're going to get a number here. So we're in the, the scene we're in right now is character controller. So you can see that's level zero. So if I wanted my wind trigger to loop this level, I would just put zero here. But I want to load Sky Maze, my next level, after I beat this level. So I'm going to change that zero to one. So now it's going to load. You can see uh, the scene index here is number one. So that's going to load Sky Maze. So when I beat this level, it's going to load me to Sky Maze. So and uh, oh yeah, you can still log me to the cubes. Ah! And then I get hit by the enemy. Okay, just avoid him. Get the key. No! I didn't even get the key. What an annoying level. Who designed this? away and I accidentally landed on that platform that's crazy okay so I beat this level I win and bing, now I'm here here I am in a uh, sky maze so you'll recall before there's my checkpoint very cool and I have three lives in sky maze thing uh, so yeah, um, that is how our, um, we're going to be switching through levels. The end.